Welcome to the WinCC Open Architecture Getting Started Series by Chasm Digital Factory Solutions. Chasm is the premier Siemens industry channel partner for advanced SCADA technologies. My name is Sean and I will be walking you through the Getting Started Series for WinCC OA. In this Getting Started video, we will cover how to create a data point structure using the PARA development tools. Let's start and create a pump object. In order to do that, you need to navigate to the Getty, also known as the graphical editor. If you are unfamiliar with navigating to the Getty or creating a project, please check out the three other getting started uh, videos that show you how to install the software and to launch a project. We want to navigate to the top toolbar and hover over the icon that says PARA, which is short for parameterization. We click on that, and now if I change focus with the mouse to this white space area here and right click, it allows me to create a data point type. I will go ahead and select that and give my pump a name. In this case, my project is called Getting Started, so I will call it GS Pump. My pump will have some elements to it and these elements will be the state of the pump I will need to group the commands associated with this pump and I will have an alarm under the state of the pump I will need to know whether it's on or off speed and the mode it is in. Commands, on, speed, and manual. Alarm will stay the same. This will be a Boolean, and if I right click over these elements, I can add the data type that I need to name each one of these elements. The speed is going to be a float, manual is going to be boolean. This will be a boolean and this will be a float. Manual will be a bool and alarm will be a boolean. Now, the thing about object-oriented platforms is you put in upfront engineering time to create a template. In this case, we're building a pump template. The powerful nature of object-oriented programming is that I can build in all of my configurations into a, an object like this pump. And this template can be instantiated, meaning that I can build children off of this parent template. And if I have mass engineering or repeatability in my applications, it makes the most sense in the world to use an object-oriented platform because it makes everything so much easier. In this case, we built a pump object. I'm going to click OK. It just shows up here in my tree structure as a new object. If I right click there, I have a few different options here. I'm going to select Create Data Point, which allows me to create an instance, a single instance, off of that template. And if I drill down on this, sure enough, here is my first pump, and it has indeed inherited the state commands and alarm structures or elements that I built into this object. Moving forward, I can also create a master data point. This master data point allows me to add additional configurations onto the elements. For example, archives, alert handling, um, IO connections to the controller, uh, some math if I need to do some calculations in my data structure, dead banding, also known as smoothing. And with the click of a button, I can add additional configurations. I'm not going to configure the alarm handling. I'm adding it merely to show an example. We will cover this in later tutorials. 
No, I guess it's going to ask me and make me do this, so I will select uh, an alert class to add this. Hit OK. Yes. And if we drill down on the pump, under state and on, sure enough, there is alert handling that I just added to this instance of the master template. Now to show you the powerful nature of the object pump that we just created, I'm going to right click and select create multiple data points. In this case, my text before will be pump and I will create 100 pumps with the click of a button. Confirmation prompt pops up and says, are you sure? Yes. And sure enough, here are all of the pumps that all have the standard that was built into that template. And as I drill down, I can notice that the power configuration was accepted that I made that master template. Another example, let's say I come back up to the master template and I don't want that alert handling in there no longer. I can change the power configuration, delete the power configuration. So in this case, I'm going to delete it. Ask us if I want to do that. Click OK. Close this and if I drill down on any one of these pumps, that change should be inherited. And sure enough, there is no longer alert handling. So as you can see in a standard tag based system that would require you to do that 100 times on 100 different pumps. So this is a key benefit and, and powerful tool to use for mass engineering. So congratulations, we have successfully created a data point and generated 100 pump objects with the click of a button. For more information about WinCC open architecture software or training, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at chasm.com.